All right, what's up everyone? Welcome back to the channel. In today's video, we're gonna be talking about ceramic coatings and talking about just having a little discussion about can you apply wax over your ceramic coated vehicle? Uh, the simple answer is yes, video's over. We'll see you on the next one. Just kidding, let's jump into it and actually see, uh, have a little talk about it and uh, I'll tell you my opinion on it, why I like it, why I don't like it. Let's go. All right guys, so first off, I just wanna mention, yes, these are my opinions. Some other people may have a different opinion on this, but this is my opinion. This is from what I've seen uh, working with cars after ceramic coating them, working with them, and have, working with cars that are ceramic coated that the customer tells me they put a coat of wax on it and they think they removed the ceramic and all that kind of stuff. So this is my opinion on it. Um, Comment down below, let, let me know what you guys think. If you agree, disagree, I'd love to open up a little conversation about this. So let's go ahead and jump into this and discuss it. Now, ceramic coatings, right? What are they? They're typically uh, harder than a traditional clear coat most times. Um, some vehicles have harder clear coats than others, BMWs and, and things, especially in the kind of 2010 range, had super hard clear coats, which was great. Uh, if you maintain them, but once you get scratches in them, you actually, it takes more to polish it out. So, uh, you know, benefits and negatives to everything, right, in life, but um, ceramics, again, are typically harder than clear coat. They're also way more hydrophobic, meaning water just kind of repels off of them, and also meaning that things that do land on it are able to be cleaned off much, much easier. So I have my trusty little um, whiteboard here. Let's go ahead and take it in uh, close to that. I'm gonna try and give you guys a visual, uh, basically what's in my mind when we're talking about uh, wax over ceramic. Okay, so here is my beautiful drawing of a vehicle. So traditional painted vehicles, right? You have the bare metal and then there is a base coat. Go ahead and write base. After that, they put a layer of color. This is your color coat. And then there's a nice thick layer, relatively thick, because these things go on quite thin. So relatively th thick layer of clear. That's your protection from, uh, you know, against scratching. Anything that happens within the clear coat, little scratches and things like that, we can polish those out. You're actually taking down a little layer of clear coat on a microscopic level and removing those scratches or at least softening the edges and making them disappear virtually. So um, now basically with that, on top of that, on top of the clear coat, that's where your ceramic coating goes and it's adding another layer of protection to the vehicle surface. So now when we're doing a ceramic coating, we prep the whole painted surface very, very well, right? We get all the imperfections or as many as we want out of the clear coat. Some customers just want the protection. They don't care about getting, removing all those defects. They just want the protection and ease of cleaning. But we still wanna prep the paint properly to get it as close to, you know, we wanna remove some of those defects. So then we go in and we apply our ceramic. Okay, so now we have a layer, nice layer of ceramic coating on the vehicle. This is, su again, super hydrophobic, so water's just gonna wanna fall right off of this. Things aren't gonna stick to it as much. We're actually just adding this whole protective layer to the paint, so if a bird, a little bird flies by and drops a poop on it, this is harder than the traditional clear coat. It's gonna take more acidic properties and more time to eat through that, that coating than it would a traditional clear coat. It still can eat through, for sure. So you wanna still get that bird poop off as fast as you can, but it will prolong it and give you a little more time before it eats through. So now, step number two, guys, can we add a wax over it? And the answer is, like I said before, yes. And say we're gonna add a nice thin layer of wax over the top of this now. Okay. What that does is instead of it reacting to any water or bird poop or whatever, reacting to that ceramic coating and being super hydrophobic and everything coming off really nicely, now it's going to be reacting to this layer of wax that is on top of the ceramic coating, meaning it's not gonna seem as hydrophobic. You might think like, hey, I mean, my ceramic coating is gone. Well, it's not gone, it's just under that layer of wax. Once that layer of wax goes away, your ceramic is, is back and uh, back to reacting the way it should. Okay, so now to really show my theory and really bring it to life, I have my black door kind of test panel, right? And, and in the past, I did three different ceramic coatings in three different squares on this panel. I did, the first one is Crystal Serum Light from uh, G-Technic. The next one is Max Sheen's Graphene Ceramic Coating. And then the third one is uh, C-Quartz UK. Now, I'm gonna throw a bucket of water on this and you guys will see the, the Crystal Serum Light and the Max Sheen Graphene Coating, the water comes off of them super fast. The uh, C-Quartz uh, UK, just slightly behind, and from my experience, when you fill the 
three of them together. The Secrets UK is definitely not as slick as the other two, but it's definitely still giving you a great amount of protection. Okay, so now, this was about two days ago, I applied a coat of wax over all of this. I wanted to do it uh, and give it enough time to actually kind of harden up and, and so that the wax is actually doing its thing. Um, so I just used basic uh, Meguiar's cleaner wax. Now, the cleaner wax, you may think that it could remove some of the ceramic because it has a little bit, I don't want to say an abrasive, but it has a cleaning effect to it. Um, but not nearly enough to uh, remove, a, uh, remove a ceramic coating. So no worries there. And I actually do the entire panel, um, or a good chunk of the panel at least. Not the entire thing, because there's weird little angles to it, but I do a good chunk of it. Okay, so test number two now. Now that the whole thing is, is uh, waxed, we're gonna go ahead and throw water on there again and see how it reacts. And as you can see, completely different reaction than when it was just ceramic coating. And it's not because the ceramic coating is gone. It's just because now there is a layer of wax on top of it and the water is reacting to that wax and not the ceramic coating. Now for the final portion of this, I'm gonna try and remove some of that wax now. Again, it's been on there for two days, it's all hardened up, it's, it's on there. So I'm gonna take some Dawn dishwashing liquid and wash this whole panel down with a microfiber towel. Uh, after that, I'm going to rinse it back down. I'm gonna apply some 70% uh, isopropyl alcohol. Again, that helps to break things down and get everything ready for a ceramic coating. When you're, when you're applying a ceramic coating, you wanna remove everything so that it can adhere to the painted surface and not to wax, because then once that wax degrades, the ceramic coat would go with it. So you wanna get everything cleared, right? So I'm doing the isopropyl alcohol and then rinsing it down again and then doing a final wipe with a ceramic uh, uh, prep spray. This just, again, helps to remove any fingerprints, all that kind of stuff. So wipe that down and get the panel ready. And then now we're gonna test it again. And as you can see, uh, there's still wax on there. So <laughs> it's definitely degraded it a little bit and you can start to see some of the properties of that ceramic coming back and shining through from under, but it's still not completely gone. Um, but as I said, I'm gonna wash it down a little bit more and then I'm just gonna take the hose and kind of go across the panel. And as you can see, those ceramic coated areas are starting to react to the water the way they should as a ceramic. The wax is, Again, still there, but not as much as it was initially. We're starting to get those reactions from the ceramic coating back. So again, should you apply a wax over your ceramic coating? In my personal opinion, no. I would use something else instead of wax. But if you like wax, if you like the way it kind of glows off the paint, if you like the way water reacts to it and all that kind of good stuff, if you're just used to it and enjoy waxing, yeah, use it. It's not a problem. You're still gonna have the ceramic there. Even though it may not react to water and everything else the way uh, the ceramic traditionally would because you have that additional layer on top, you're, the ceramic is still there. So say a bird poops on this wax and, and it eats through that, well now you still have that ceramic coating under it to prevent it from eating through the rest of the uh, paintwork. So keep that in mind, the, the, the wax is, is a nice extra kind of sacrificial layer on top of that, uh, on top of that uh, ceramic coating. So that sacrificial layer is just prolonging the life of that ceramic coating really. It's absorbing all that contamination, all that kind of stuff, all, uh, all the debris, bird poop, uh, uh, acidic stuff from bird poop and industrial fallout. And that can get eaten away and taken away and then your ceramic is there back to life. So personally, when we're talking about products, I personally, again, I wouldn't use a wax. I would use a ceramic infused ceramic sealant type of a product. Technician's Choice Ceramic Detail Spray is a good choice. Meguiar's Ceramic uh, Spray Detail or Ceramic Wax. All those types of products are gonna still give you that sacrificial layer, um, except you're still gonna get a really nice hydrophobic property from it because they have the ceramic infused. SiO2 is kind of an active ingredient that really helps with all the hydrophobic properties. Ceramic Detail Spray from Technician's Choice, the product you guys have heard me talk about a million times. Um, sorry if it's getting old. Um, but basically, it, that product is super, super hydrophobic. It, it's very, very slick to the touch and uh, works really great. So I would recommend using that as opposed to a wax. It's also easier to apply because it's spray on. Um, but again, if you like, the properties of wax, use wax. You're not hurting your ceramic coating. So that's it guys, I hope that helps. Please make sure to like the video, make sure you're subscribed and turn on that notification bell and we will see you on the next one.